My name is David Weasley. I speak tonight as a pastor, as a follower of Jesus, and um, perhaps primarily tonight as the parent of a one-year-old. The prophets make it clear in my mind God hates religion without justice. In the book of Amos, God speaks and says, I hate, I despise your festivals, and I take no delight in your solemn assemblies. Take away from me the noise of your songs. And in Isaiah, is not this the fast that I choose? To loose the bonds of injustice, to undo the thongs of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free. I want to invite you to close your eyes for a moment and imagine a child that you love, your kid, your grandkid, your neighbor, someone small enough to cradle in your arms. Imagine holding that child and finding behind you a fierce fire, a raging flood, a monster. And ahead of you, you must run to safety, to sanctuary, to a chance for survival for that child. How long would you run? How determined would you travel that path? How faithfully would you move step by step, by step. That is the moment that we are in today. Friends, siblings, beloved. Today and in the days to come and for the next generation, this is our work. It is my conviction that the divine, that our faith traditions, that our communities, that our children are calling us to the sacred and urgent work of restoring a broken climate. Even now, I can only assume that there are excuses rising in you. You don't have the training, you're too old, you're too young, you're not ready. Your excuses are of no importance in the face of this crisis. I think this week has taught us that none of us are too young. If, you're too, if you think you're too old, I can introduce you to some folks. If you don't have the training, I can send you some websites. If there's something else that's holding you back, I invite you to let it go. Change jobs, change cities. If you go to my church and it's not serving your fight for climate justice, if it's not making you brave and strong and wise in the fight for climate justice, please change religions. I'm not joking. It is the fight of a generation. All of us are called to engage with fierceness, with strength and bravery and wisdom so that a generation from now we can come together again and be part of that other promise in the book of Isaiah to be called repairers of the breach, restorers of the streets to live in. Thank you.